Na 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 na. Na 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 na. Alexa off. Alexa. Hey Alexa. Off. My roommate doesn't listen to me sometimes. Ew, uh, that was not a funny joke. Okay. Hey, it's Monday. And you know what I decided? I decided I need to get my tush out the door and go for a run. It's literally been a month. It might be over a month now since I've gone for a run. I've gone to some treadmill classes, but I don't really count that because it's like run walk. Like I just need to go outside and go for a run. Am I washed up? Yes. I like feel completely washed right now, which sometimes, I mean, I felt completely washed for a long time, but I feel like extra completely washed at the moment and I don't like the way that feels. So you know what I went ahead and did? I signed up for something. I was still kind of bummed about the marathon, you know? Today is the Boston Marathon. This morning, it happened. And I had major FOMO. Not that I was gonna run Boston, but like, since everyone is running marathons, I'm like, geez, I don't wanna run a marathon, but I wanna do something else. <laughs> I've said before, I'm not a marathoner. I don't consider myself a marathoner. I'm not built to be a marathoner mentally. Uh, I don't really love that training. Like, I like to do it sometimes. It's not what I'm gonna be doing consistently forever because I don't like the training. I don't like feeling like I need to run so much. You know what I mean? I like running, but I guess I didn't really like it for the last month because I didn't do it at all. Anyways, um, I just made a get ready with me on TikTok, so feeling famous. Also, okay, like I said, today's Boston. Big shout out to today's sponsor, which I know a lot of you guys will love. They're a new sponsor to my channel. It's called The Gist. It's a newsletter. It's completely free. Let me tell you a little bit about it. So yesterday was Sunday. The newsletter comes straight to your email. It's a four times weekly newsletter that gives you the gist of what's going on in the sports world, written by women. As you can see here, it's a super easy to read layout. This one is all about the Boston Marathon. So exciting because obviously that happened this morning. It talks about Bobby Gibb becoming the first woman to unofficially complete the course when women were not physiologically able to run a marathon. <laughs> Over 450,000 people read the gist. I think this is really relevant to a lot of my followers because the gist is a female founded sports media startup. They have a newsletter, a podcast. Their main goal is to bring a fun and fresh perspective and make sports news way more inclusive and accessible for everyone. Like I said, the newsletter is free. It's written by women. It's really fun to read. It's very entertaining and funny. It's really refreshing to have a female's perspective on the sports world and equal coverage of men's and women's sports, which you don't see that often. If you're like me and you're not super in tune with the sports world, it's really intimidating for me, honestly. And then when I found the gist, it makes keeping up with the sports and news takes so much less overwhelming. You guys can subscribe for free today. Just click the link down in the description. Highly recommend if you're anyone that's looking to get into sports news, sports media, and you want an easy, fun, friendly way written by females, it's amazing. So go check it out. Click the link down in the description. Like I said, it's free. And with that, once I'm done reading this Boston recap and then also looking on Twitter and seeing all the results of the Boston Marathon, it's time to go for my first run in a month. Let's go! -er. I'm gonna go to a coffee shop after because a uh, girl boss moment. I'm not gonna lie, I'm a little nervous. I'm like low key actually nervous. Also, I got a parking ticket the other day. Swag me out. I'm nervous because I haven't run in a month. And I know it's gonna feel like poop. I know that it's gonna feel bad. Like, I know I shouldn't be manifesting that for myself, but like, come on, you guys. Like, I have to be realistic and mentally prepare for the hardest run I've ever done in my life, so. It's literally gonna be like a 30 minute run, maybe. All right, let's go. We got this. We got this, Emma. This is so dramatic, but I'm literally so nervous. I'm not even kidding. Like, I'm not even exaggerating. I actually am nervous. I'm not coming back from an injury. Nothing hurts. I just know that I'm gonna hurt. Mentally and physically. <laughs> ah! Let's get it. Hey, hey, hey. Okay, fellas, we've arrived. I am at Mission Beach, Mission Bay, Mission Beach. I'm at Mission Beach, not Mission Bay. Um, this is what everyone said looked like a green screen last time I was here. So it's not indeed a green screen. It is, in fact, real. And... Apparently everyone knows that it's real because the parking lot is full and it's a stark contrast to when I was here in January training for the marathon when no one was here in the middle of the day and now everyone's here and now I had to park across the street So I'm a little pissed, but I think I'm gonna do like a loop around Mission Beach So along this little bay part. No one cares. All right. What's up fellas? It's Emma. I'm about to go run for the first time in a month. Before anyone asks, I'm horrible at doing warm-ups. Sorry about the plane up there. My favorite thing is actually running when the entire like little sidewalk is packed with people. So I get to dodge people and like work on my pivoting skills. Let's go. You're not that washed up. And away we go. Right off the bat, the impact is jarring. Mile one. 
mile too. I can't say I'm feeling good, but I'm not feeling horrible. Mile three. Ooh, I feel good. I feel great. I've never felt better. Oh my gosh, it's so humid. Or. That was so dramatic for what? I'm not in shape. I mean, we know that, that's a fact. That was already, you know, expected. It was humid out there. Jeez, the shirt was like a trash bag on me. I was in a sauna suit. Um, four miles, 8.45 pace, you know, not the worst. Heart rate was so high though. Like I really need to get back to zone two training because it makes me feel so good, but I'm just like gonna get out the door for the next week or so. Cause sometimes focusing too much on the numbers like really stresses me out and that's not the point of running, especially for me right now, like who cares? Um, proud of myself? Yeah. And it wasn't bad. I mean, it was enjoyable. I will say sometimes like filming, I mean, a lot of the time filming the content while I'm running is like really tedious. Like I was just thinking to myself all the entire time. I was like, geez, I wish I like could just not film this run and just like go for the run and not have to hold my phone and like talk to the camera. This is such a first world problem. All I have to do is stop posting on YouTube and TikTok and Instagram and then I can do that. But it's also my job. So it's just me complaining about my job. I'm gonna go get coffee now. I'm like drenched in sweat. <sighs> Take off my shoes. I might sit here for a little bit just to cool off and you know, not stretch because I'm a bad runner. I am going to Starbucks and then to Trader Joe's. Who wants to see Roshi Hall? No one? <laughs> okay, I'm at Starbies in Pacific Beach. I need to get my Crocs from the back. I caught them. That was easy. I was gonna work at a coffee shop, but honestly, I kinda wanna go home. But I do need to get groceries, so I'm going to Trader Joe's too. And I need to look my best just in case I find my husband in either of those places. So, putting my hair up. Because this hairdo is gonna attract all of the men. All of the 6'4", G-Wagon, driving, funny, successful men. <laughs> I've got my sweatshirt that I'm gonna put on. This is what a runner looks like. Yes, it is slay. Taking off my sopping wet shirt. I sweat too much. Now, what should I get from Starbucks? That's the question. Like, do I want a nitro to be insane? That man's staring at me. Um, hot with my bun. Do I want a nitro to be crazy today, or do I want a regular cold brew? We'll see. Uh oh, fit check. Slaying the boots down. Nitro, cold brew. I'm not sleeping tonight, there's no way. Oh, it's so good. I pay the price every time I do this. Like I know I'm literally gonna be so mad at myself for doing this later, because I'm gonna get so anxious, but right now it's worth it. Good for me, always looking out for my future self, you know what I mean? Okay, time to go to Trader Joe's, find my hubby. Here we are. I have high hopes that my husband will be in here. Got all the goods. Always put your car back. Okay, we made it. Uh, spent 72 bucks. Let's see what we got at home. Didn't find my husband, sadly, but I did find some ketchup. So that's all I can ask for in the day. I've waited 25 years to find my husband. I can wait 25 more. I don't want to, but um, ketchup is fine for now, I guess. Let's go home. This is like my lift for the day. Ah. Let's see what we got. All right, we got the setup here at Trader Joe's Hall. I gotta hurry up though because the UV is literally six outside right now and it's 3 p.m. I gotta hurry up because I'm trying to get tan and I'm going to sit outside in my bikini, but here we go. We're going left to right. We've got frozen blueberries, frozen cherries, organic ketchup, unsweetened applesauce for recipes, broccoli, which is the smallest bag of broccoli ever. Are you kidding me? Uh, perfect bars, almond milk, GT's kombucha, yum! Spinach, carrots, Brussels sprouts, oats, beets, blueberries, which were so expensive for a pint. Oh my gosh, like four bucks, are you kidding me? Celery, pasture-raised eggs, so good. These apples that the lady told me to get, which I don't even know what flavor they are, but uh, I got them because she said they were good. Uh, organic avocados and potatoes and sweet potatoes. 72 bucks, pretty good, honestly, for a giant restock. So I'm gonna put this way and then let's go to the pool. Can't see a thing. Laying by a pool. Relaxing. 
My eyeballs hurt and I'm crashing drastically. My desire to do anything is going down. I just made a fire flames dinner. Chicken thigh air fried with paprika, garlic, salt, pepper. We've got Brussels sprouts chopped and sauteed in ghee. And then we've got air fried sweet potato and olive oil. Bon appetit! So I took a shower. I did my little skincare, so my skin's all slimy. Uh, currently watching the H3 podcast. Going to clean up my apartment a little bit. Do the dishes and go to bed. Mm. I'm a chef. Looking like a lion shack. Wow, I do look a little wild. Um, I'm getting ready for bed. Getting my water. I haven't been the best at drinking enough water throughout the day. Um, I'm eating some of my frozen cherries. This is literally my favorite little treat before I go to bed. I think like tart sweet cherries have melatonin in it too. So I think these are good before bed. Don't quote me on that. Taking two of these beam dream capsules. These are the extra strength um, because I feel a little wired right now, but I want to go to bed. So I'm using the extra strength today. Usually I would use the powder, but I don't feel like drinking my little chocolate beverage, you know, tonight. Like Mima's chocolate milk isn't sounding very busing. So I'm just taking these capsules. Very convenient. I travel with these two. Magnesium, reishi, L-theanine, CBD, melatonin. Use code Emma, you get 15% off all beam stuff. I take it every night. If you watch any of my stuff, you already know this. I was gonna edit this video tonight, but I'm not falling back into my old ways because I think I got burnt out from doing so much in one day. So I'm just gonna go to bed. Thank you all for tuning in to today's first you know, get back into shape with me video. Every video seems to be a get back into shape with me video, but you know what? Why did I just eat a cherry while I'm trying to film? Oh, it's so cold on my teeth. I signed up for something, so I have to start running because if I don't, I will not make it through. And what that something is, I'll let you know this week or next week. I'll let you know. We'll be in touch. Uh, follow me on TikTok if you want. That's a new platform that I've been grinding away on. Instagram, listen to my podcast, subscribe, like this video if you like vlogs. Love you fellas. See you in the next one. Peace out.